And he told me to speak about the function of family. And I'm so obedient that I did yes. <laughs> but it's a topic that I know very well. I am not going to be talking about something that I don't know, I never experienced. And one of the most painful things for all of us is to accept that we all come from somewhat a dysfunctional family. Nobody in this room can say, my family is perfect. Nobody. Liars. Because <laughs> it's not somebody like that. Get it together. But Satan went nothing more than to hurt and destroy the family. And how Satan can do that? Because the devil, Satan, has targeted one of the most sensitive areas of Jesus' heart, of God's heart, the family, to destroy the family. He targeted the family specifically. And that's the reason we have so much problems. So, much, so many people are divisive and all of these things and, and, and hate in, 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 in the family. And the thing that I began to notice in my life as a Christian, he, the reason why Satan wanted to hurt the family, Satan hate God. Do you know that? They are not friends. They're never, there's, a, there's a new religion that says that Jesus Christ and the devil, they're going to make up and they're going to be friends. Hell no. I mean, heck no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Over my dead body. There's no such a thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Terrible. I'm sorry. The reason the devil is, is target the family is very simple. Because the family is the foundation of everything and the foundation of our nation. That's the only thing. And the whole world. We are community. And the pain that, he, that the devil caused between God and family, the division. And when things go beautiful and nice, we always say we are lucky baby. And when things go wrong, who we blame? God. If somebody died in a, in a situation that unexpectedly, God is the one to say, we began to question God. Only those born again, people that have connected with God, understand and from there we draw uh, power and we draw, uh, we withdraw, uh, the, the things that many times we don't, we don't accept and this comfort. It is good to accept comfort for when we are, because we understand the meaning of God's mind, how he loves us, and we can go through all these things. Situations. Look, I lost in the last in the last three years two of my brothers. One was killed, murdered, kidnapped, murdered, and found out 24 hours his body was decomposed. And my brother was a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ for 42 years. The pain that the devil caused is serious and damaging. And we have to deal with, with, with issues like loneliness. And the problem, and I have, I have come to a conclusion because I travel extensively in this country and all over the world. I find now that it's the same loneliness. Right here in this room, there's many people you are finding loneliness. It can be an issue with husband and wife, children. And parents, all can be something here. It can be that you feel that nobody cares for you. There's rejection. 
We have to deal with that. There is drugs and alcohol abuse. There is such a thing, adultery. That is a serious thing. Adultery is a serious thing. And one thing that bothers me a lot is wife beating. And I don't know why in the world that wife go back to that monster. Then depression. I know that in this room there's people who are depressed because you want to be something and you cannot reach that point. Or because you've been rejected by somebody and then you feel depressed. And depression is a serious thing. And pain has a face. 